January 5, 2023, Michigan State Police Houghton Lake 9 officer was called by the MMSP SWAT team and was asked if he could make a traffic stop on suspect Sluter, who had an active warrant for assault. Dine officer attempted to pull the suspect over and Sluter fled driving the wrong way on the highway, which the pursuit ended in the middle of the woods on a two-track road. The nine officer released his dog to chase after Sluter and was apprehended. Thank you. 
Yeah, if you're there in position to do it, um, we're still southbound. Speeds at 94. Thank 
section Okay. So 
Why? Why you rush me? Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Where? Where? Mind my own fucking business. I didn't do no Brazil traffic laws. Okay, you got a warrant for your arrest. For what? For CSC. For what? That's, for, that's what it's for. Don't give me a fucking lie. Come on today. I'm sick of all You secure yeah. troop? You know what? All right, I'm going to go put him away. I'm going to put him away. You gonna get uh, medical this way too? Good job, buddy. Sorry, that was. I should have pulled in front on the on the traffic stop to block him. So what it was? So waiting for the warrant for this time. He came out here, bailed here, yeah. came, slipped in the ice twice. I set the dog because he was yeah. taking off that way. It was a clear shot. We were, grabbed him right where he's at right now. So. Good job. All right, I'm back on record with the camera there. So, uh, thanks. Good job. <laughs> How far? Which one? Second line or third line? Or we? Oh no, we were so far back. We were yeah. at our PDA and then we. That, that was you the Yeah, I knew you. Oh, okay, all right. We were literally playing like, pulling the numbers with the driver and box. Like, we're passing you right now. And I'm like, yeah. I don't even have, like, this info. That road was super slick. Well, that's why he spun out. Yeah. He's, he, he's, he actually rolled, like, four or five times that. Oh, really? Down in the media. Yeah, I didn't even see it. I should have yeah, my, 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 <laughs> And then, then we, then we hit all this, and I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> So, he, he was cooking pretty good. Too. He was doing pretty good, actually, yeah. too. His car was doing a lot better than mine. With you have the, good tires on there? Or? I don't know. I should have switched mine to four high. I just left it in auto. But, yeah. Um, it probably did really well. Yeah, it didn't do bad. So, we got him. Yeah. And, and honestly, like, when it's this slick, it's like, he already spiked the brakes on me once. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So, he just, he just got here and got bailed out. Yeah. He, so, he stopped here. Because he must have known it dead ended. So he stopped here, yeah. he got out and he ate it, and then he ran like right where his phone was at and the, the thing, ate it again, and then he took off, and I think he was like, oh crap, my phone, so he turned to come back and get it, and I'm opening like the car doors and stuff, and I, honestly, I just popped the side door for the dog and got us running that way, and yeah. look, he was like, oh, there he is, alright, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so, by the by the sound the way it was going, I was like, I kind of anticipated this happening, but you never know. Yeah, I mean, you just never know. So, yeah, I know. I think the original plan was for like a surrounding call out type thing. That's why At the house. those guys were coming, and then he he left early, and then yeah, sure. you know, and, and then I. Was to. So his dad apparently lives like a mile yeah. that way. What was he going to towards me? Any idea? I don't, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah he's curious. So I tried to pit him right there at, at Manton when he turned to go on 42 on the, to get up to 131 and then, yeah. So, yeah. Then it, uh, apparently my pit skills have lacked since leaving the, the inner city there. So... Alright, I already took pictures of that. Just gonna take pictures of the inside and call it good for the. Yeah, this road, take it down and it gets, it gets pretty tight, but it'll actually curve back to the north and it kind of bumps that lake up there. Oh, okay. Um, and I actually have not, I don't know where it, it I think it actually leads on some private property. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty tight. Oh, that's not gonna stay up. Yeah. I'm just going that close. Put your 
To respect the brakes, I so that's where you evaded to the left and banged into the, like tried to pinch him off in front, yep. and he came in and hit me on that and pushed through, and then a picture of it I didn't search it but watch that uh, that door does not stay up Peterson's is in route, I believe, so, because they asked how far down the trail we were for them. Gotcha. So. But, Hopefully I put out, we went through that ditch there, I feel like, <laughs> think about how, what to call it, because I was like, I want to make sure they know we went straight through there and not. I, well, and actually, so, when you guys hit the county line, we didn't know where you went. Oh, right. Okay. Did you guys switch over to 70? So, I came through May and I went to 70, and then as I was coming down 131, I was like, I'm jumping on yeah. Wexford, and then yeah. I jumped to Wexford, so got you on that, and, and then I asked them to advise Misaki, because we were yeah. heading that way, okay. and then I was trying to switch to Misaki, yeah. and... It's hard to run in there. Yeah. I, I was telling, uh, because Rob, through fonts and there, was calling stuff out, and I, it's like, like, Sealy... We saw the yeah. lights, and then it was like nothing. After nothing. That. Yeah. Uh, no south, straight. Right. And then we so we, we went south because I thought I heard somebody say Cadillac Road. Right. Right. And then right. I was like, anyways, I, I pulled up a map and I was like, all oh, about the seasonal. Yeah. I figured it out, but yeah. yeah. yeah those maps are good. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I have those and still be driving. Around. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean we. Sluter appeared in court with his public defender, claiming the police were stalking him, and he had called dispatch during the pursuit to let them know the officer pulled a gun on him, and that's why he took off and asked if officers could back down from him during the pursuit. I really don't. I just like to get home and figure this out, but... Okay, all right. I do have to work in the morning. Okay, I'll have you face my windshield for me, all right? Just place your hands behind your back under us for driving under the influence. From here, I'll, we're going to go back to the station. I'll give you the opportunity to provide a breath sample. On April 12, 2023, in St. Petersburg, Florida, police officer Perez conducts a routine traffic stop that soon escalates into a DUI investigation. After noticing signs of impairment, Perez has the driver step out of her Jeep to perform standard field sobriety tests. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, I'm Perez, I'm with St. Pete. Okay. I noticed you were drifting within your lane. I just wanted to make sure you weren't having a medical emergency. Oh no. Are you okay? Yeah, I was just passing the phone along. Oh, okay, cool. Um, let me see your driver's license. Sure. 
Are you the registered owner? Yes, I am. Let me see your registration and your insurance card, okay? My insurance card is digital. Yeah, that works. Makes it easy these days. <laughs> uh, not when you don't have service. Oh, yeah. Here's registration. Yeah, it's in the glove paper. Yeah, it's usually like a rectangle paper with where you peel the yellow sticker off. Yeah, no problem. Go ahead. I'll give you a second, okay? Twenty-six. Hey, is anybody nearby? Come down at thirteen and sixteen, but I can hit your what? Um, it's like forty-seven one. I can be there in a little bit. Okay. We're like right off of 62nd Avenue, um, like Northwest Jefferson, kind of in like the roundabout area. Yeah, it shouldn't be too long. Door sedan. 2019 green G four door sedan. See my gonna back up a little bit, okay? Were you able to find your insurance? Yes. It's cool. Right here. Awesome. Looks good. Would you be able to step off for me real quick? Um, do I have to? Oh, I'm noticing a few signs of impairment. I just want to make sure you're good to drive, okay? Um, I, yeah, just go ahead and step out for me real quick. Can I just go home? I can't. I can't do that, okay? So at this point, I'm going to conduct a DUI investigation, all right? So to step out for me real quick, I'd just like to talk to you further back here, okay? Can my friend drive home? Um, we'll get to that a little bit later, okay? Just go ahead, step out for me, okay? I just want this to go very smoothly. I know, but now my heart's racing because I'm nervous. Okay, well, I can squash any questions that you have, all right? So I, I can smell the odor of an alcoholic beverage on your breath and your eyes are bloodshot and watery, okay? Mm -hmm. 
There's nothing to be nervous about. I'm not here to hide anything from you, okay? I'm just letting you know what I have at this point. So I just want you to step out for me real quick, and then we'll talk further, okay? Do you mind if I take a look at your eyes real quick? Okay, I'll have you come to the front of my cruiser, okay? I'll just have you stand in front of my grill, and then I'll have you turn and face me, all right? I'll have you stand in a relaxed position, your feet together, arms to your side. I see you wear glasses. Is that um, daily basis? It's just for driving. My... Okay. Do you wear contacts ever? No. Okay. Do you see my blue light? Yes. What I would like you to do is look at my light with your eyes only. Don't move your head. I'm just going to make several passes in front of your field of vision. I just want you to look directly at that light for me, okay? I nodded because I thought you were done. Oh yeah, this won't take too long. Just continue to follow as I go up, okay? So I'd just like to verify all of your information is correct on your driver's license, okay? Um. About how tall are you? About five nine. And how much do you weigh? Just ballpark. One twenty. Where were you born? Uh, Detroit. Okay. And is this still your residential address, the Forty Sixth Street North, or have you moved from here? I've moved from there. Okay. What's a good uh, address where you're getting mail right now? Uh, it's gonna be thirteen hundred seventy ninth Ave North. Okay. Uh, what do you do for a living? Just general. Um, I'm a marketer. Okay. Are you the registered owner of your Jeep? What year is your Jeep? 2019. Do you feel sick or injured this evening? Do you have any physical defects? Are you diabetic? Epileptic? Do you see a doctor or a dentist outside of routine care? No. And are you taking any medications? Yes, quite a few. Okay. How would you rate your overall health, good, fair, or poor? Um, good. And do you have any injuries that would affect your day-to-day -day activities, mm -hmm. like going to the grocery store, work, gym? Okay. So I am going to ask, I have two additional field sobriety tests, if you'd like to participate, okay? It's a walk and turn and a one night stand. Is this necessary? Yeah, so this is all part of my DUI investigation, okay? So I have the three SFSTs, so we just con completed the one. I have two more, so the walk and turn and the one next day, okay? I would demonstrate and explain the exercise and make sure you understand. If you have any questions, let me know, and then I'll have you participate, okay? I mean, I just, I, I'd rather not. Okay, um, so if you were to refuse the, to participate in the field sobriety test, you're forcing me to make a decision based on my observations up until this point, okay? Um, additionally, should you be charged with DUI, the refusal can be used against you. So I'd like to give you every opportunity to participate, but if all's in your court, I can't force you. 
mean, it seems like regardless, you've already made a decision. No, that's what I, those are the consequences if you were not to participate in the field sobriety exercise, based on all of my observations from before I put you over. Yeah, okay. All right, do you see this yellow chalked line over here? I'll have you start at the end of that yellow line, and then I'll have you turn and face the line. Yeah, yeah, you'll just turn and face the line, okay? Are you comfortable in your sandals? I see they're flats. Are they uh, pretty stable for you? Um, All right, so the very first thing um, I'd like you to do, you're going to place your left foot at the end of that yellow line. Place your right foot in front of your left with your heels mm -hmm. and toes touching, and then keep your arms down to your side, okay? I would like you to stand in that position until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? When I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel-to-toe steps down the line. It's going to look just like this. One, two, three, and so on until you get to nine. Once you reach that nine step, keep your front foot on the line. Remove your back foot from the line to make a series of small steps to turn around. And I'd like you to take nine heel-to-toe steps right back down the line, just like this. One, two, three, and continue all the way till you get to nine. Once you reach that nine step, simply step off the line. The exercise is complete. While you're doing this, I'd like you to look down at your feet. Count each of your steps out loud. Keep your arms down to your side. And then once you start walking, don't stop, okay? Do you have any questions? Yeah, I just... Okay, do you understand the exercise before you get started? Take steps, one in front of the other. Yeah, so nine heel to toe steps. And then turn around. Yep, series of small steps okay. to turn around. Nine heel to toe steps back. Yep, you're looking down at your feet. Count each of your steps out loud. Keep your arms down to your side. And then once you start walking, don't stop, okay? I think do I'd rather take my shoes off. Yeah, go ahead. I'm like sweating hardcore. All right. So um, if you're able to get back into that starting position, and then you may begin from here if you don't have any other questions. All right, so we're done with this part. I have one more exercise for you. It's the one leg stand. If you want to come over here, okay? You don't have to worry about the line. I'll just have you stand with your feet together, arms to your side, okay? Um, you'll just maintain this position until after I explain and demonstrate the exercise and then until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? When I tell you to begin, you're just going to raise either foot, whichever one you feel most comfortable with, okay? It's going to look just like this, approximately six inches off of the ground. I'd like you to keep your foot parallel with the ground, legs straight, arms down to your side, and I'd like you to look down at your foot while you're counting out loud, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. If you happen to put your foot down, which I don't want you to do, make sure you raise that same foot back up and continue counting where you left off, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, okay? While you're doing this, I do not want you to hop, sway, or use your arms for balance, okay? Do you understand? Do you have any questions before you get started? Okay, so I'm on your time. Whenever you raise your foot, I'll start my watch, okay? Try to look at your toe and count out loud, okay? 1,000, Stop, you can relax, okay? If you want to grab your sandals real quick.
uh, if you want to come to the front of my cruiser, I have a couple questions I would like to ask you, okay? Um, my questions are very direct, kind of to help me better understand your evening and kind of how where we're at at this point, okay? Um, because of how direct my questions are, I need to advise you of your rights, okay? It doesn't mean you're under arrest at this point. It's just in order for me to ask you questions, I need to advise you of your rights. So you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer. I come here present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you. You can decide any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand if those rights are going to be? Having those rights in mind, would you like to speak with me? It really doesn't seem like I have a choice. Oh yeah, you do. You don't have to speak with me. This is your. I need a, like yes or no answer. If you don't want to talk to me, you don't. You don't feel comfortable talking to me. You don't have to. I really don't. I just like to get home and figure this out. But okay, all right. I do have to work in the morning. Okay, I'll have you face my windshield for me. All right. Just place your hands behind your back and undress for driving under the influence. From here, I'll, we're gonna go back to the station. I'll give you the opportunity to provide a breath sample. Um, and then from there, you'll get transported up to Pinellas County Jail. I'm just going to take this off so it doesn't scratch from my handcuffs, okay? How, how did this happen? What did I... have any um, thing that's been a poker stick me with knives, needles, anything in your bra that I need to know about. Okay. Do you have a wallet or a cell phone, any property that you'd like to come with you? You're, you are able to bring property. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just go ahead over on this side real quick, all right? search my car stop take this off my head what's up everybody in today's video we have another entitled karen getting arrested now this one was beyond stupid incident that's as perplexing as it is frustrating involving a woman a closed road and a dui investigation she seemingly wants to control let's dive into it on June the 16th, 2022 in Florida, an officer confronted a woman attempting to drive down a road closed for repaving. Little did he know that things would take a turn for the work in a matter of moments. Yes, ma'am. Turn a hole. Okay, what, what part of the instructions didn't you understand? I went around the block. Okay, right now you're being detained. Put your car in park. Do you have your license, registration, proof of insurance? Hello, Where are you coming from? I was downtown. I stopped at the draft house with my mom. Okay. I just want to go. Do you think home. maybe that's part of the problem right now? Probably so. I just want to go home. My Your insurance. Insurance. I'm not trying to be scaled up with I promise. I'm just trying to go. How long ago did you leave the draft house? It's been hours. We got off at 7, 8 o'clock. Three hours? You left the draft house three hours ago. No. So it took you three hours to get from there to here. I had dinner. I asked you what time you left the draft house before you came here to go home. I don't know. I just want to go home. Okay. So we've been through this one time. I told you how you would need to get to your house. 
and your back here causing a problem with this gentleman no, who's I'm just trying to do his job. I'm not trying to cause a problem. I'm just you, trying to go home. Okay, but I you're, promise you're facing, I'm not from here. What does this sign say right here? It says road closed. Okay, so why would you turn to face this way to go down this road when we've been through this one time already and you know that the road's closed and you can't go that way? I'm so sorry. I really... At this point, the woman's slurred speech plus betraying her and the officer noticed that she wasn't entirely truthful. His instincts were telling him something was amiss. How's it going, ma'am? My name is Officer Nesbitt. Uh, my partner here was explaining to me that uh, you kept trying to, you know, take yeah. this back street here. I need to tell you more than one time. I'm, I'm to not reroute. trying to be trouble. I really am not. I do not live here. I'm not from here. I'm just trying to go home. Where are you from? I'm from Tallahassee. Okay, but you live here now, right? Yes. Right down here. I got you. I understand. So listen. Uh, I don't know what else to go. I understand. I, I am not trying to be a Do you have an ass. iPhone or anything like that? Yes. Okay, you don't have your maps? Yes, but it keeps taking me this way. Okay. Do you know how to zoom in and out on your phone of the map so they can show yes. you different routes? But <laughs> it keeps taking me this way. Okay. All right. No and problem. they kept circling me around. I'm not trying to be a pain. I understand. I promise. I got you. So where are you coming from now? What do you mean where am I? I mean, I don't. I've been out. I understand. I'm saying where. Like where at? The location, the place. I've been in Fort Pierce. Okay. Is that we at a restaurant, at a bar? I've been out. Okay. Did you, you have anything to drink? Right? No. You didn't have anything to drink? No. Okay, my partner explained to me that you said you were coming from the draft house. You had a couple drinks? I just want to go home. I understand that, but we're beyond that point. All right? Well, I'm asking the question. Why do you... Why, why? Because you keep insisting on going home, but right now... I just now, want to go home. Right, listen. My partner suspect you a DUI. I suspect you a DUI right now. I smell alcohol coming from your breath, okay? So I'm going to get straight to the point since you keep cutting me off about going home. Since I suspect you of DUI, I would like to conduct some field sobriety tests. You see when faced with the prospect of sobriety tests, the lady, aware that they might expose her suspected wrongdoing, wasn't prepared to the revelation and instead exhibited her entitled mentality. Would you like to participate in field sobriety no. tests? No. Okay. Do you understand if you don't uh, participate, you can still be arrested for suspicion of DUI? Do you understand that? So would you like to conduct field sobriety tests? I would like to go home. We're beyond that point. It's my third time telling you that. So, like I said, would you like to conduct field sobriety tests? I just want to go home. All right. Go ahead and step out of the car for me. Sure. Let me know when you're ready for the Go ahead and stand in front of my vehicle. Paul, Tom, Victor, Golf, one, five. And uh, I'm also going to need a uh, fire department truck. I'm right here. Uh, I'm right here. We're standing right here for me, please. I'd like to talk to you. No, you've already talked to me. All right. What do you want to talk about? So you don't want to conduct field sobriety? No. You don't want to do nothing like that? No. Like, no. Okay. I want to go home. No. We're not. We're beyond that. I point. haven't done anything wrong. Oh, no, for you. Well, you, you drink, I'm not from you're here. Drinking, I drinking. told him. I was clearly, I was clear with How him. Much have you had to drink? I haven't had enough drink for you to do this to me. All right, well, you swam back and forth. No, I'm not swaying anything. Okay, you can barely, it's all on camera. You understand I don't that? care. Okay. How much have you had to drink? Not enough for you not to let me go home. Okay. Not enough for you not to let me go home. You can look at him and smile all night long. Let fish hands behind you, but okay. As the officer proceeded to conduct a search on the car, she was unwilling to let that happen. He doesn't have permission to go in my shed. Nope. No, he's not Do getting that. in my car. I'm Thanks. sorry. I have not given him permission to get in my Under car. Right now. Take a seat. I don't care. She doesn't have permission to get in my car. I don't care. 
Yes, I have anything, permission any to get valuables my, in your you car? You do not have the sit right down, to get sit my down. shit. No, is there, any, stop. is there any valuables in your car that you need to take? You do not have the right, right. to get in my car. Do you have any valuables in the car? That is none of your motherfucking right. business. Take a seat. No. Right. I won't. But if you get in my car, I can assure you, you'll pay for it. All right. All right. All right. Let's keep on. Sit down. No. Let go. Sit down. No. Sit down. Stop. 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 Man Stop. handling a woman? Yeah, you know really? No. No. He's not listening. You're not getting in my car oh. without my coming. Oh. No. Off. I don't give a f who you are. You're not getting in my shit without my permission. No, that ain't fine. Go ahead and take a seat. No, I'm sitting sorry, I'm no. not. You want to get an additional charge? No, no. Get in the car. No, get in the car. You're not getting in my get in shit. Car. Get in the car, man. All right. Get in the car. Stop and get in I the car. No, you're not getting in my shit. You don't have a right to search my car. Stop. No. Get in the car. No. You're going to get an additional charge. No, you're going to let go of me right because now? you're going to get an additional charge when it's all said and done. No. You're holding me without any cause. Resisting. No. Resisting. No. Tell him. You're searching my car without my permission. Search your car. No. Yeah, you did. Right. You open my passenger door. You grab my purse. Car. You open my driver's side door. Car. Without Stop my consent. No. Car. No. 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 You ain't. No. No. Get in the car. Why are you acting like this? No. Everything is being recorded. They're going to play this in court. Okay. Your lawyer is going to have a great time reviewing this. So yeah, my lawyer is going to have a good time with yeah, you. Yeah, he's going to see that you're highly yeah. intoxicated. No, like a I'm child. not intoxicated. Get in the car. You're searching my car without my permission. Get in the car. Without. Get in the car. Without any merit. Get in the car. No. Let like go of me. I will make you get You're in this car. You're bruising me. Well, you're acting like a child. Get in no, the car. I'm not acting like a child. You're the one searching my car without f***ing permission. Okay, get in the car. Let go of my arm. Get in the car. Let go of me. No, get in the car. No, not until you let go. Get in the car. No. Stand up and get in the car. No, you got the wrong one. I'm sorry. Let go. Ma'am, listen, get in no, the car. Okay. There ain't no ma'am to it. Let go of me. Get up. Stand Let up. go. Stand up and get in the no. car. No. You've been in my car. You grabbed my purse without permission. Okay. You've been, you've been in my car without permission. Get in the car. For no reason. Let go of me. Come on, stand up. No. Mistakenly taking the officer's calm demeanor for granted, the lady was unaware that it was about to spade away. Forcing the officers to resort to unconventional methods. You give me my purse. You know, don't grab me. No, you're not going to tell me shit. No. Get in the car. No, you're not going to tell me shit. No. Get in the car. No. 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 What you going to do? What you gonna do? You gonna keep roughing me up, big boy? Where's my purse? Get the f off me. Quit touching me. If you kick me again, I'll throw you on the ground. No, you quit touching me is what you need to quit doing. Get the f up off me. Get off me. She's resisting. No, I'm not resisting. You're being a fing jerk. Get off me.
Really? It takes all you f***ing men to do this? Really? All because right. you're a f***ing jerk? Alright, stop. Gonna have now! To in the car. If you don't want to get in the car, we're going to make you get in the I car. I just want to go the f*** home. We're past that. No, right. we're not past that because you're a f***ing jerk. I'm going to get in the car. She's already... I don't think she has no in her pockets. I was just trying to go home and he's being a jerk. You ready to put in? He's being a female police officer. Let's try this again, okay? No, there ain't no train shit again. Get your f***ing hands off me. No, stop. No, get, get go car. away. Get in the car. Go away. Get in the car. Go away. Even after being restrained, she became more uncooperative, going to the extent of threatening and daring the officers. Off me. Oh, no. Want me to check? Yes, one was on the side over there. It should be up under the, uh, the yellow jacket, the raincoat. I got one. Oh, what are you talking about? 986. 986. All right. Now, let's try to sit in the car now. Stand up. Let's try to sit in the car. Oh, oh, her? I don't you wanna know. Talk? Yeah, you don't know because you ain't f***ing ass, you dick. Pick her up, put her in, we'll grab the leg. Somebody grab the legs and just put her in the car. Stand up. Stand up. Just put her butt in. It's the bad things with the single cage, she can't pull them across. Stop! Stop kicking! What are you doing? Ma'am. Stop. You need to sit in the car, okay? Get her butt up in there. Can you pick her legs off of there? No, she's not bending them. Do this, do this. Pull her up. Take this off my head. I want to put the leg. Alright, kick her shoes off. How drunk am I? A lot. How drunk am I? Obviously not enough. Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, put her on the ground again. We're gonna put the Stop it! Put her on her legs. By this point, she had become a real challenge for the officers, prompting them to devise a final strategy to deal with her once and for all. Put her, out, put her on the ground. Put her out. Put her out on the ground. Face down on the ground so she can't dock with anybody. She can do that. Let go of the thing. Sorry, hold on to it. Hold on to it. All we gotta do is get her feet in. Okay. All right. Stand her up. Roll her. You got her? Roll it. I'll help you out. There you go. Yep. Watch your head. Watch your head. There we go. There we go. Where's it at? It's fine on this side. It's on that side? Yeah. You on the left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, she was taken to jail and faced charges of DUI and battery on an officer. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. And why I'm pulling you over is because you made no attempt to stop at that four-way stop. No worries. Right. You have your license and registration yes, on you? Absolutely. Where have you been tonight? I was honestly out with my friends. Alright. How much have you had to drink tonight? Not a lot. Not a lot? No. I would not drive my head a lot tonight. Okay. Still waiting for the registration. Yes, ma'am.
Thank you. Absolutely. I know you said a lot, a lot. How much is not a lot for you? It is not a lot. My aunt is a cop. I, my mom died 10 years, literally 10 years ago. I'm trying my hardest. I have not drank a lot. Okay. Cool. I'll be right back. Hey, who are you calling? I was calling my uncle. I'm sorry. That's all right. Caitlin, can you have me, do me a favor and step out of the vehicle for me? Yes, ma'am. It's in park, right? Yep. Right. Cool. I'm sorry. That's all right. He can wait. All right. Come stand over here. 1040. Thank you very much. All right. Just look at me. Look yep. at me. Look at me straight. All right. So, let me explain real quick. I have you the way that you were driving. You completely blew back that red light. All right. You were going pretty fast, too. When I pulled up to your window, I can smell the smell the odor of alcohol coming from your car. Right? Why are you crying? Please, just go ahead, take me to jail because I'm so sorry. Come on, we're just talking right now. I messed up. I will be honest, 100%. Put me on video. I will be on. I should have never drunk drive and. You can arrest me for that because we, we're just talking. Right, I'm not. I, I know, but I'm just telling you. <laughs> I should never so, done that. Listen, are you saying you're drunk right now? I'm a little bit drunk. Yes. A little drunk. Okay. So the way that you were talking to me, you're slowing your speech. Your eyes are watering. I know. You're crying. You just said you're drunk driving. Yes. I'm gonna ask for you to perform standardized field sobriety exercises <laughs> to disprove my fear that you might be operating a vehicle impaired. Are you willing to perform those exercises? Yes. All right. All right. Relax. Okay. Take a breather. Do you want to answer that phone and say that you're okay? You're just in a traffic stop? Hey. I'm... Can you please talk to him? Who is it? My, my boy. Okay, I'm just, I'm not telling him all the details. No, I'm just, just going to say... No, just say I'm performing up. Okay. Hello. Okay, go ahead and pull around to the parking lot. You can't interfere with this, but you can sit in the parking lot over there to the right. Okay, thank you. A friend pull up. No, that's my, my boyfriend. <laughs> All right. Uh, boyfriend. Your boyfriend had anything to drink today? He's a firefighter. No. All right. He would never risk Relax. his career. We're gonna walk over here. Okay. I'm gonna take a breath though. somewhere else. Can you really just be honest? Are you going to arrest me tonight? Well, I still have to dispel my fear that you're driving impaired. I know you're telling me this, but I'm, I want you to perform these, these exercises. I quick. understand. After we do the exercises, it will be my decision. Can okay? you just be honest really quick? I can't, I can't tell you right now. Okay. Alright, so why don't we go to this corner right here. I'm going to read you some medical questions, okay? Yeah. Stand right here. Face me real quick. Just, just face me. We're talking. We're just... I have a couple of medical questions to ask you. But I need you to take a breath. All right? All right. Do you need to see medical right now? Because no. you, you seem very, very out of it. I have a kidney infection. That's it. That's it? All right. I don't know. Do you... Want I have a kidney infection. That's it. Okay. 
are you getting treatment for it? No. When were you diagnosed with it? I wasn't diagnosed. I had a really bad pain about three weeks ago. That's it. And I just left it alone because I thought it would go away. Is it a kidney infection or a UTI? No, it's a UTI that turned into a kidney infection. Okay, how do you know it's a kidney infection? Because I've had really bad pain in my back. Okay. Have you had any throwing up or anything from it? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. Uh, and you said you're not taking anything? Or no, ma'am. anything for the UTI? No, ma'am. Okay. I've just been taking cranberry pills, that's it. How old are you? I'm 22. Okay. Deep breath. I'm going to read you these questions real quick, okay? Are you wearing contacts? No, ma'am. No? Okay. Are you diabetic? No, ma'am. Take, take insulin. No, ma'am. Epileptic. No, ma'am. Other than your UTI and kidney infection, are you ill? No, ma'am. Right, are you under the care of a doctor? No, ma'am. Are you taking over-the-counter medication? No, other than the, the, the cranberry? Drugs? No, ma'am. Any prescription drugs? No, ma'am. Um, any physical disabilities? No, ma'am. Speech impediment? No, ma'am. Are you injured? No, ma'am. You have a glass eye? No, ma'am. Artificial limb? No, ma'am. I need you to take a breath. <laughs> Why don't you sit down here for a little bit, okay? No, I'm okay. You sure? All right. This kidney infection, does it affect you in any way that you cannot be driving? No, ma'am. When was the last time you ate? <laughs> it was literally maybe two, three hours ago. Okay. Do you have a head injury? Any previous head no, injury? No, ma'am. Well, when did you last sleep? A day ago. A day ago? Okay. Mm -hmm. How long did you sleep? For 24 hours, the normal 20, 12 hours. 12 hours? 12 hours and 24 hours are a little different. 12 hours? 12 hours? Okay. <laughs> are there any mechanical problems with your car? Mm -hmm. No. What time do you, th without looking at your watch, what time do you think it is right now? 11. 11? Okay. You said you had something to drink tonight. I did. How much did you have to drink? I didn't have that much. I had maybe two martinis. Okay. What time did you start drinking? I started drinking at maybe 8 and then I had water. That was it. Okay. What was the last time you, what was the last time you had I had two martinis, like I said. At when? I had, I had two martinis. I had one at maybe seven. That's when I met to okay. have my birthday drinks. Another one maybe at I don't know, eleven thirty. Okay, you said it was eleven right now. Okay. okay. So do me. Let me read you something. Put my hands behind. No, my you're good. Just keep them right there. Okay. I just have a lot to read. I will put my hands behind my back. I, I'm not asking you to put your hands behind your back. All right. Can I borrow your light? Do me a favor. Put your feet together, hands at your sides. I didn't tell you to turn around. Huh? Stick around. Huh? Stay right there. Right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I can't I can't start this on time. I know okay? I still. I want you to look at the tip of my pen with your eyes and eyes only, alright? Do not uh, keep looking at this until I tell you this exercise is over. Do not move your head. Do you understand the instructions? Yeah. Right. I need you to open your eyes though. I know. I'm sorry. It's alright. Take a breath. You have. You can take as many breaths as you need. No, if I'm trying to do it, just arrest me. Just me. I can't. You, when you say you can't, you don't want to do it? Or? No, I want to do it, but I'm just sad, you know? Take a breath. Okay, ready? Yeah. Just look up. Follow with your eyes and eyes only. Okay. Eyes and eyes only, not your head, okay? Do me a favor, go like this. Eyes and eyes only. Don't squish your head though, just hold on to your cheeks. Alright? 
Are you looking at the tip of my pen? Mm-hmm. Okay. Tip of the pen, right here, right where my finger is. That's where I'm looking. Right. You're looking right here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at right here, where the... At the top. At the top. Mm -hmm. Would this make it easier? No, I see it every okay. way. I don't think my face is the tip of the pen. I know, but I'm just trying to look for you. I'm gonna go up this time, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just cold. I understand. Okay. Oh, I don't know what that was. That's okay. Yeah. Can Actually, I mean, no, that's, that's not what I'm Yeah, I'm gonna need tape. I'm not taking you anywhere right now. Okay, Right? We're just looking for a line for you to walk. I don't want you to walk any of these because they're kind of bumpy, okay? <laughs> Can I just call one person? Sidewalk works. Can I just call one person? Can I just call one person? Can I just call one person? Not right now. Just stay right there. Okay? Can I please just call no. one person? Stay right there. I just want to tell my uncle. You're, you can stay right there. I just want to tell my uncle, please. No. My uncle. Please. You can call him after, but right now I need you to just stay here. Please, okay? man. I'm just begging you. Let me at least tell him. Please. No. I'm begging you. No. I'm not going to answer again, okay? Please, man. I just want to tell him that I might be going to jail. Please. I'm begging you. Please. Just let me tell him. Are you comfortable in the shoes tonight? Yes, okay. but please. No, you're not going back to your car. Okay? I just... I will call him. Regar Listen, regardless of how this ends, I'm telling you right now, you're not going back to your car. Okay? I shouldn't go to his car. No. Well, I, I'm telling you right now, you're not going to call him. I'm telling you, when we finish this, you're not going back to your car. Okay? So I'm going when to jail? I, no. I'm not saying you're going to jail right now. I'm saying right now, the way that you're, you're, um, you're crying, I don't think even, even if you were or, or not impaired, the way you're crying, you cannot be driving. You're very, very emotionally distressed. Okay? I just want to tell my uncle at least, okay, please. Okay, we'll tell him after. Okay? I can't tell him when I'm in jail, you please. You can't. I will. Listen, I can't promise you anything. But I will make sure after we finish with these exercises, I will find a time that you yes, can call your uncle. Okay? Yes, ma'am. You're going to go follow this officer right here. Again, you're comfortable with those shoes? Yeah. All right. Yes, put, ma'am. Put your... Can tie them? Okay. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. All right. On, on the line. Put your right foot in front of your left foot with the heel of your right foot touching the toe of your left. All right? Put your hands down at your sides. I can't. Honestly, no. just take me to I, I want you to try at least. All right? I can't. Keep your hands down at your sides. I can't. Don't fall for me, though. Do you want me to... No, just, just take me. It's okay. okay we, want you, we want you to try first, okay? Put your hands out. I can't. That's my point. I want you to hold that position as best as possible, okay? <laughs> Do you understand my instructions? Just take me in because I can't do it. <laughs> okay. Do you want to stand like that then? Just stay right like that while I explain the instructions. <laughs> no, please don't. Oh, look at me. Please don't have my boyfriend look at me. He's not. He's not looking at you, all right? This is embarrassing. He's a firefighter. I'm supposed to help and I'm not. And my mom would be so disappointed. I should never. I can't. Just take me to jail. Yeah, that's fine. Just stand right there, alright? I'll explain the instructions to you, alright? Please, just so, take me to jail because I can't do it. I can't I mean? promise you. 
I don't want to disappoint my mom or my boyfriend. I don't want to make him a mess. Please just take me to listen, jail. I want, listen, I need you to do these. I don't need you. I want you to do these. If you want, you could say no right now. And we won't do any more. But trying. I want I'm that's all right. Well I'm asking you I'm asking you to just stand still. You don't have to hold the position anymore. I know you can't hold it. Alright? Alright. When I tell you to start, I want you to take nine heel to toe steps on the line. You're gonna turn around and take nine heel to toe steps step back. While looking down while looking down, I want you to count out loud every step like so. Alright? One, two, three. And so on and so forth. One, two, three, and so on and so forth until you get to nine. When you've taken your ninth step, I want you to keep your front foot forward and take a series of small steps using the back foot. You hear my instructions? Yes. Okay. Watch how I step. I have my front foot forward. I take a series of small steps. Okay. Now I'm going to go back down the line nine more steps. Okay. One, two, three. Sides at all times. Watch your feet and count each step out loud. Okay. Once you begin walking, do not stop until the exercise is complete. Do you understand my instructions? Yes, ma'am. All right. Left foot on the line, right foot in front of it. My leg is shaking. Oh, no, no. That's all right. Do you need a moment? Yes, please. Okay. All right. L put your left foot on the line. Stop. Now put your right foot in front of your left foot. All right. Put your hands down. Do you need me to explain I any can't. of the instructions again? Please, just... I'm... I can't do it. Okay. Do you want me to explain any of the instructions? No. no? I can't right. do it. You... I told you I can't do it. So are you saying you don't want to do this exercise at all? I'm trying, but I can't you... do it. All right. But... Okay, then take, take two seconds to calm down, okay? I can't calm down because if I do this, I'm... 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 So are you saying you're not going to do this exercise? I can't do it. it. It's a yes or no. Are you? I, no, I would fall over. I can't. I can't, ma'am. So it's a no. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm going to fall over. I just want to call my uncle at least one time. What? Can I please just call my uncle? I, I already told you no. Okay. okay. I just want to call him and tell him. Please let me go. Let no. Me I'm, I'm trying to be respectful, but you're asking the same question over and over again, okay? Okay, I understand. Right. I understand. Take, take a moment. I am. I'm going to confirm one more time because I know you were still crying the same thing. All right. Do you want to attempt this or not? I will attempt it. One more All time. Right. Do you want me to read any of the instructions again to you? No. All right. Right foot on the line. Put your left foot in front of your right foot. Okay. You're not on the line, though. The line starts right there. All right. Left foot on the line in front of your right. Okay, left foot. Put your right foot on the line. Now put your left foot in front of your right foot. Okay, you keep saying the same thing. Yep, so your left foot is on the line. Put yes. your right foot in left front. Left foot is here. Oh, my bad. Shoot. Okay, now put your right foot in front of your left foot. With the heel of your right foot touching the toe of your left. Just like she is. See how her is touching? Yes, yes okay. ma'am. Keep your arms down at your sides. Do you want me to repeat any of the instructions? No. No? I can't. You? No, I can't. So please. Just take me. <laughs> I can't. Alright, we're gonna move on to the next exercise. No, just please take Wait. me. Back. Do you wanna attempt the exercise or not? I just told you I, I can't. You haven't do it. I haven't told you I haven't even told you to start the exercise yet. I can't though, I'm telling you, I'm trying to be honest with you guys, I can't do it. Okay. So then you're not gonna try the exercise. I'm trying, but I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't be straight. Then you're not doing the exercise. Alright? I know. I just want to tell my uncle at least I'm going to jail. 
<laughs> it's all I want. Is that what it's all I want? I'm going to jail. Do me a favor. Stand with your feet together and your arms out your sides. <laughs> all right? Hold this position until I tell you otherwise. When I tell you to, I want you to raise one leg, either one, about six inches off the ground. It's going to be about this tall, okay? I want you to have your foot pointed out, both legs straight. You're going to look out, uh, look down at the foot like so, and you're going to count out loud, right? Foot's out about six inches. You can, you can stay down. You're good. Right. You're going to hold your foot out, and you're going to count like so. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on and so forth until I tell you to stop. If at any point you drop your foot, I want you to pick it up and start off where you left off. So say I dropped it at 1,004, I'm picking it back up, 1,005, 1,006, and so on. Don't forget to look down at your foot and count out loud. Do you understand my instructions? I can't do this. Do you want to attempt to do it, or? I can't do it. I know you guys are trying to help me, but I can't do it. I, I fucked up. I fucked up. I can't. I honestly can't. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna ask you the same thing with the second one. Are you going? Do you want to attempt to do the I'm exercise, or are you saying no? I'm not gonna do it. I'm trying to attempt right. it, but I can't. Well, I'm ready to start when you're ready to begin. I can't. But like, that's my point. I can't. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Mind your sense. Do you have anything that can poke me, stab me, stick me in any way? Do you have anything that can poke me, stab me, stick me in any way? No, man. Yes, <laughs> yes, please call my uncle. Yes, please call my uncle, man. Was your uncle the last person calling? No. Please let me call my uncle. Uh -huh. Her boyfriend her boyfriend. Please let me call my uncle. Do you want me to tell your boyfriend to call him? No, I just want to call my uncle. Please okay, we can't let you do that right now. I will have. I will allow for your boyfriend to get your phone to call your uncle. You're not talking. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I can give your phone to please. your boyfriend. Can you just tell my uncle's number for me? Sure, do you want me to go grab your phone so you can tell me which one's your uncle? Okay. I need to reach for the seatbelt, okay? I know, I'm sorry, this You're hurts all right. really You're bad. Okay. No, handcuffs are really bad. Yeah, they're not supposed to be comfortable. I checked them to see if they were tight. I don't want but they're not tight. Be. I don't want them. This I'm gonna so reach across. <laughs> right now, I'll explain where we're going. You have been arrested for DUI. All right. I know. We are I'm heading. Scared. We are heading to the DUI center. Over there, you're gonna have. They're gonna. I'm gonna read you some legal stuff. They're gonna explain. It's gonna be a breath test. All right. <laughs> you. I'll explain that you have the choice to breathe. If you choose not to breathe, your license is suspended for one year. If you breathe and you blow over 0.08, your license will be suspended for six months. The DUI tech can explain a lot more than I can. I gotta make. I already checked. You don't have any gum in your mouth, right? No. No. Okay. I I didn't think so. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. So we're gonna sit there for 20 minutes. You're gonna get. You're gonna read you the stuff, and you're gonna. If you would like, you can blow into the breathalyzer. Okay. I'm sorry. Don't. Understandably so. Your boyfriend's talking to your uncle, okay? No. Yeah, that means your boyfriend and uncle both know where you're gonna where you're gonna I'm be, okay? Scared, you are all right. How do I tell them I'm in jail? They already know. Your boy. I don't think they're gonna get in contact with me. 
contact with each other, that's my problem. Well, your I so that other officer, Officer Allison, she made sure to give um your boyfriend uh <laughs> my boyfriend isn't the firefighter, so right? My aunt, no, my aunt is a courthouse deputy, like Okay. Well, your, your, out of your phone, your boyfriend was given your uncle's number. And he said that he would call him, alright? So he's gonna know. If not, your boyfriend knows as well. So he can, they, after you get booked into the jail, they can, you shouldn't have been drinking impaired. You shouldn't have been driving impaired. You're not gonna stay, you, listen, I know that you're gonna stay there from the point that you get arrested, which would be about midnight, midnight 55, 12.55. You have to stay there eight hours. So I'm scared to stay there eight so hours. I, but it's, you're gonna be in the uh, starting stage. So as soon as ten hits, you're gonna be allowed to make your calls and you can bond out. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I just wanna call my uncle. When is the time I can call my uncle? As soon as you're booked in, they'll let you make phone calls. Okay. So what? How long? It depends on how long it takes me to. When, once we finish with the DUI center, once we get you in, after my, I have to write my report. Oh my I, well, make sure you can itch your nose after, okay? So as soon as we... I can't leave this right now. I'm so sorry. This is not... I didn't mean to say this to any of you, but I'm so sorry. I can't believe this right now. I'm so sorry. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. What? You're going to be booked in? going to the Orange County Corrections. At minimum eight hours. As soon as you get, I believe after you get placed into the jail. I don't know if it's after those eight hours or because because you are drunk, they have to hold you for eight hours. So I don't know if it's after those eight hours that you're allowed to start making phone calls or if it's as soon as you get booked into the jail that you can start making yes, phone calls. Can you at least wipe my, like, wipe the ear? Like, yeah, I can do that as soon as we get to the DUI center, okay? I have, like, mouth. I know, but we're running. I have, like, mouth. I, I understand, but I'm driving right now as well. No, I get it. I just want to at least let you know. Mm -hmm. Are you hot, cold? Or how are you feeling temperature-wise in the car? Is no, it I, it's hot? I'll turn the AC on then. No, it's not even the getting a bit of your you. I also have the heater on. <laughs> Yes? Can I ask you something? Go ahead. What did my boyfriend say? I don't know. I didn't talk to him. Okay. But as soon as he got the information, he drove away. Okay? <laughs> so that's probably to go, yeah, you know, call your uncle and explain to him what's going on. I'm You're going to be okay. I mean, I'm going to be with you to the process until you get booked in. From there, the correctional officers will be with you, okay? How long does it take to get booked? At minimum, eight hours. Eight hours? <laughs> so I will be out by tomorrow morning? You will be out by around 10, p 10 a.m. As soon as you get booked into the jail, you can make calls, okay? How long is that? Depends on how long it takes for us to finish at the DUI center, all right? On average, it takes me about three to four hours. Three so then, hours. so then as soon, so as soon, no, as soon as I finish with those three to four hours, you'll go into the jail. As soon as you finish in the jail, you can start making your phone calls. Yes. I can't call him. You can't even tell anything. Mm -hmm. Sir? Ma'am? 
Not right now, not while I'm driving, okay? As soon as you get in, admitted into the jail, you can start making phone calls. I, I am scared. I don't want to be beaten up by people. You are not going to get beaten up by people. I'm scared. I, I will not. I, while you're with me, nothing's going to happen to you. I'm okay? Scared. So for jail, I'm, I'm just trying to explain. After those eight hours are done, you have the option to bond out. As soon as, if you choose to, if you choose to bond out, as soon as you pay that bond, you're, you're out of jail, okay? That's, if you choose to stay in, again, I, I'm not quite sure how that process, um, works. I only know the process from getting, putting you into the facility, okay? But, do people beat me up? I, not if you, I mean, I normally, I haven't seen anyone getting beaten up. I've heard stories before, but... That would be if you're, you know, admitted in into the main living part. You're going to be in booking most of the time. And if you choose to bond out in those eight hours, I don't believe you ever go into the general living quarters. Yes, you're gonna, there's going to be a couple of court things you're going to have to do. But you can, that's something for you to figure out as soon as you... Huh? Your, un, your boyfriend has your uncle's phone number. I know you said it before, but how long before? Eight hours. Eight hours? <laughs> I did not call him. Your boyfriend has your uncle's number. Your boyfriend has your uncle's number. Did anyone call him? No, because my aunt's a I don't. I didn't call. We gave your the number to your boyfriend. Not right now. I'm driving. Do you have anybody in the front seat? No. know you're on unfortunately i mean i don't think i don't think court's going on right now so yes i don't take a picture of you the jail will they'll they'll explain to you in, in the jail okay you will be allowed to wipe your face a little while longer i just have to jump onto international drive and then we're getting off at Yeah. This rifle? Yeah, the this, gun right here. That's just my rifle rack. I that's know. that's I'm how sorry. it's I was just asking like is it like on purpose? I mean that's the safest way to have it. Yeah, I get it. There's no no bullet in the chamber. It's pointed upwards so it's not pointed at anyone. I'm sorry, I'm not sure now. That's okay. I listen, I appreciate you trying to come uh, calm yourself down, okay? <laughs> Once we get to the DUI center, once we finish with the the breath test and the reading, you will have a chance to drink some water and go to the bathroom, okay? They're, I don't think they're going to beat you up. I'm sorry? Were you forced? Forced to... No. I made the choice based off the way that you were driving my interaction with you and how you performed those exercises. When you get into the jail, yes, but not at the DUI center. As soon as you get to the jail, okay? I'm scared. What if they don't answer? You have the chance to make multiple calls. <laughs> and they'll, they won't give you your phone, but they'll give you all the contacts you need out of your phone, okay? So you can call as many people as you need. That's okay. There's a lot of cars. It shouldn't be like that. You, that would be. I would have you figure that out afterwards. Okay? Don't focus on that. I, I don't know. Yes, please. Thank you so much. This guy was just letting me cut in. I. Again, that's something to focus on later, okay? I know, but it's mostly... Yes, you are being arrested for driving under the influence. I apologize for that. That was a lot of traffic. What jail? Yes. Orange County Corrections. It's right there. <laughs> okay, tell my family I'm here. Your boyfriend has your uncle's number. I know, but you 
once you get admitted into the jail, they'll let you make phone calls, okay? I don't think your aunt and uncle are awake right now. What do people think? I don't. While you're with me, people are not going to beat you up. I know, I know. I listen. The process of getting you in, I will be with you at all times, and then once you're in, the correctional officers will be with you, okay? The 26th anniversary. I'm 97. Copy ending mileage. 60457. I haven't told anyone you're going to jail other than your boyfriend who was given your uncle's number. He has, yes. He has your number, he has your uncle's number. As soon as we finish here at the DUI center, I'll give you a, a chance to go to the bathroom, drink some water, okay? No, I don't care about that. I smell that. Well, while, while you go to the bathroom, you can wipe your face off, okay? I'll be right back. I have to grab everything. All right, I'm going to go put something in the trunk, and I'll be right there. I'm still on. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Um... See that nice DUI technician over there? You're gonna walk towards her, okay? I'm gonna go turn off my car real quick. Straight towards her. All right, come on.
Well, not all of you, so how much do you have to drink today? Where you got the car, why you got the car, how much do you have to drink? Mm -hmm. Drink here and there. Drink here and there. There's a bottle of something in there in the console. What's that? Get a clear bottle. I don't know. I'm not sure. Your wife? Not mine. The what? He thought there was somebody in there when I first went in there. Yeah, oh, no, there's someone else in the car, but I know it. Yeah, there's a thing in there. It seems like it's every time I think I'm going to have a good enough amount of, like, just a few mistakes. No. 
didn't take an antidote. No. And I do take medicine. I take uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. I take medicine that is the I mean, you guys are part of it. Okay, well, I think... I'm sorry, I know that me and I do. I don't. I'm not very good on medication or anything like that, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll have you come back here, back to the Jeep, or back to the truck here. Right here, sir. And just lean against this truck, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, so face me. Face me. Face me. Okay. And just lean against this truck. We don't get shit. There you go. All right, well, I'm going to have you follow my thing with your eyes, okay? Check out now. You've been drinking. I can smell it on you, okay? Well, you just said you were drinking throughout. You said you were drinking throughout the day. Well, anyway, all my sense your eyes, okay? Did you, did you hit your head? Because you went off the road and you had a little accident. Did you hit your head? Did you hit your head? Okay. Put your hands in your cheeks like this for me. Keep your head from moving, okay? Your head can't move during this step. Put your hands in your cheeks for me. Just watch my sense your eyes. See my sense of spray my spray your eyes? What, what's my thumb doing? Going back and forth. All right. Keep your eyes open. Follow my pen, okay? So I need to stop, okay? Yeah. All right. You're like, really? I'm standing on your feet there. I'm going to fall over. No, keep your head still. Just move your eyes. Okay. Well, yeah, you did. Yeah, sure, sure. See right there, okay? Yeah. I can't finish the task. He's like, gun steady. I'm just going to... Okay. 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 I 
What's she offer you? Nothing. She's kind of like, hey, I'm up here. I can get one. I can get one. This one. You can take a minute. She's not here. She's not here. Yeah. So you think she was a problem? Yeah. Hold up here before we got Hey, you need to go check between my boys that we have PTSD and fighting for Come at her. Would you have to get some tears to go higher to mine? Yeah. Hey, well, we have another seat in my car, though, because we've got to do some work here. So we're going to have to sit. We've got to get her off. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I get it. Over here. Over here. Yeah, thank you. Come back. Right. Take your seat, though. That's what we do. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're just glad you're okay and nobody got hurt. Yeah. 
it was like six or seven pill bottles. Yeah, ambient dual locks, the box, the box. Yeah, he was talking about some girl. Yeah. There's a girl stop up here. Yeah, big girl. I'll go up there and take a look. I'm not going to worry. I hope you can hear it. I hope you can hear it. I hope you can hear it.
On February 2, 2024 a trooper with the Ohio State Highway Patrol out of the Lancaster Post stopped this vehicle for going 120 miles per hour in a 70 miles per hour zone on US 33 in Fairfield County. License on you? You got license on you? You have your license on you? You know I got you stopped? You gotta use the bathroom? Well, you're gonna have to poop your pants, I guess, because you're going 120 miles an hour, so... 120, yeah, that's how fast you're going, so... Do you have insurance on the vehicle? Do you have insurance on the vehicle? Yes. Where are you where are you going today? Uh, I brought the heavy. Okay. Uh, yeah, the insurance. I need to go better, man. I need to use coffee. Because my phone is good. I'm going to grab this speaker here. Uh, what's your... Uh, what's your phone number? for a Honda. That's not for this vehicle. We need the insurance for this vehicle. Okay. That expires tomorrow, so just be aware of that. Obviously, you're going to get a ticket, so give me like five, five minutes, I'll get you on your way, okay? You, you don't have a valid driver's license, so do you have anybody that can come pick you up? You can't drive. So I get somebody to come out here and pick you up. Like, right now, okay? Here's all this. Court. You gotta go to court, alright? So, this is the date. The date and time and address, everything is up here at the top. Make sure you're there. If you can't be there for whatever reason, call them and let them know why you can't be there, okay? okay. The number, if you need to call, and let them know, the number is right there in the back. But if not, just make sure you're there, that date, time, address, okay? You got any questions or anything? All right. Don't go that fast. I know those cars are fast and they're fun to drive, but right. don't do that. Don't about that. Yeah. That one of the drivers may have overdosed. I 
just got here. I got a witness's name. Um, it just that car's involved. This truck's involved. Did someone say he was seizing? He, he, uh, our detective gave him two things about Narcan, so I believe it's an overdose. Oh. Hey, dude. Yeah, you, got you don't need a smoke right now. Get out of the car. Hey, Jason. Come on. Come on, get out of the car. Crawl out. Let's go. This is right here. Crawl out and get it. Let's go. Get, get out. out of the car. Come on! Out of the Let's car! Go. In your hand. Dude! Back up, man. Do you? Uh, what happened? You know? Uh, I was um, getting my truck tired and, and you know, fixed. You're getting it fixed, right? Well, I got it fixed. How'd the crash happen? How'd the crash happen? No, no. How'd you crash your truck? I know. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. You've been drinking, injecting, heroin, anything? Dope. Hey, med uh, 13. Any dope? You need an Arcan. I mean, that's an indicator that you had some dope on board. I'm a 43-year-old male. No. Yes. Denies any drug or alcohol okay. use. Three hundred VA with heavy huh? front end damage. Yeah, His vehicle had okay. to be extricated. What's your name? Three rounds of Narcan prior to arrival. James. You want to ride with me? No. Me neither. Nope. Uh, phone up. Oh. We're going to sit. Thanks. Alright. Uh, we have one to go with the car. If I call you, you can walk off the uh, phone. From exchange, but then it just comes with my car. Hello, I got Bill. I'm right. What's up? What do we need? I just got here. I got a witness's name. Um, just, that car's involved. Yeah, that car's involved. Yeah, that car's involved. I know. I drove up on it. They were all still mingering. He was laid over on the seat of the truck. Okay. He's got three rounds of Narcan in it. Okay. Or something at the last second, hit the corner of their truck, bounce off it into that white truck, 
push that white truck into the truck that was in front of them. Where'd that one go? Uh, he pulled off. He pulled up through the light and parked somewhere and then walked over. All right, you got your license ready? Yeah, okay, on the very top. You got nice turn. Yeah, I'm gonna walk. Yeah, we're taking some. Yeah, the problem is just got. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do. What's the use up there? Hey, what's up, my problem? What's up, man? Good. Oh. Oh, shit. Sorry. Trying to get my. You okay, baby? You okay? You okay? PNA 2935. PNA? Yeah, 2935. For my insurance, what do you need? The company and policy number. Okay, I bet. If the company is nationwide, I'm getting the policy number. Okay. All the plates should be in the cat already. You guys are able to pull ours. I gave them more of this stuff. I drove up on it. And they were kind of just all sort of out, lingering around, and I'm like, who is who, who is where? Like, where's this guy at? And I saw the front end of this, and they're like, he's still in it. So I walked up. Good thing you weren't sitting here. Yeah. He's laid over in the front seat. You got white so, trucks in front. Yes. I've so, got that white truck's information. He was in front of the Silverado, the F-150 that's over there. I've got... Uh, so so, there are... The driver who was administered Narcan was taken to the hospital, enabling the police officer to collect a urine sample from him. Court records indicate that the driver faces charges of OV, DUI and failure to control. As of the time of this video, the case remains an open investigation. Say 10, John, 1324. Say 10. Bay Highway 49 here in front of Nettleton Baptist, Arkansas, 029, Zebra Tom George, 029 ZTG, be on a red Chevrolet Silverado. 10 4. I stopped you because uh, you drove through this private property back here to avoid the light and everything. You can't do that by state law, brother. Yeah, you have to. You can't drive through a parking lot or something like that to avoid a traffic control device. Okay. Uh, your brake light. I don't know if you knew this or not. On its driver's side, it's out. It's the driver's side brake light. It's burnt out. It's not working. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'll look at your license there and the insurance and registration. Where are you trying to get to? Home? Okay. Um, you live in Walnut Ridge or Brooklyn? No, this is Walnut Ridge on this one. Okay. Well, they might have 
sometimes they'll change it in the system and they won't change it on your license until you get a new one. So I'll check, it'll show when I run the license. Do you know what insurance company it is? All state. Okay. Progressive. Okay. Well, if it's with Progressive, one of those bigger insurance companies, it should pull that information up when I run your tag here in a minute. If it doesn't, then then we can work on calling your mom or whoever he said to, to get it. I got the title there. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, there it is, right there on top. Uh, that blue one. Yeah. Yeah. One of them here, yeah. So this one's old. If you want to, you can throw that one away. Uh, okay. Just uh, make sure also sometime later sign the back of that. They want you to sign that in the state law. Okay. So let me go look at everything. Uh, give me just a second, right, man? All right. Insurance hasn't lapsed, has it? Because it's not showing that there's any insurance information on there. Yeah. He said, is it your mom that usually deals with the insurance? Dad, mom. If you want to give them a call real quick and just see uh, if it's still good and in effect, they can, you know, screenshot a picture of it to have it and send it to you, and then I can look at it on, on your phone, okay? Uh, so I'll let you work on that. I'll be right back. Dalton, did y'all get it figured out? Okay, awesome. Awesome. Go ahead. This went out. This one shows it expired on December 30th. Supposed to be sending you another one. typically but these companies here it shows up okay all right yeah that looks good uh hang on just a second okay all right. uh, sorry. all 
Uh, but, so I'm going to work with you a little bit, okay? Uh, apparently you haven't changed your address yet on your license, so just get with the revenue office to get that updated. You know, by state law, they only give you 10 days from when you move to another address to get that changed. I'm just giving you a warning on that, okay? And on the brake light, I'm just issuing a warning to you. I mean, I understand when somebody tells you you're not going to know your brake light's out, so. Uh, the only issue, you know, I have, of course, is why I originally stopped you is driving that parking lot. It's kind of dangerous if there's, you know, pedestrian traffic around or something that could cause issues, okay? Uh, I did issue a citation on that. It's for driving across private property to avoid intersection is what the citation is. It's the court date on it's the 21st of February. Uh, it's at 9 a.m. at the Jonesville District Court. You do not have to appear in court on this if you paid the fine before that date there. That date's just if you want to contest it or fight it, then you'd have to be there on that date and time for that, okay? Uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So there's a phone number here on the back of it for the court clerk's office and an address there for the court. If you call that number, they can tell you, you know, how much the fine is or if you have any questions about court, they can answer all that stuff for you. Uh, I would probably wait the earliest to call tomorrow afternoon because if you call them now, it's not going to be in the system yet. They won't know, you know what you're talking about. So just call them tomorrow afternoon at the earliest to get you squared away on everything. Okay, man? All right. So I'm going to let you go, Dalton. Be careful, okay, man? All right. That's all right. Yes, sir. Carolina King David Robert E two eight four King David Robert E two eight four.
Traffic's yielding for us, so I just had to 
Jacobs, storm head supervisor. Even an officer flank, the reason I stopped you passed me at 83 miles an hour. Oh, she so got sorry, I didn't know I was doing my license. You got your license registration insurance? You still stay on Legacy? Yeah. Alright, where are you coming from? Um, actually just uh, got back into town. I'm um, just kidding. It's uh, I'm time for family. Okay. From where? Um, Colorado. Okay. See, see my uh, relatives. Just gonna go get something to eat. Cool. Alright. You hold on to these things. I'm gonna check your license out. Oh. Hey, so Mr. Simon. Yes, sir. So... You said you was coming from just getting back into town, yes, sir. and you're getting something to eat, and you're on your way home down there. Yes, yes, sir. Well, actually, I live I live with my my mom, the legacy. Um, I actually just uh, moved out of there, so that address is not. My you're address. on the one in Jupiter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. Like, I took my registration. Yeah. Have you had anything to drink tonight? No, sir. You're using your narcotics, cannabis, oh. prescription medication. All right, man, look, I think you might be under the influence, all right? So I want to do some standardized field sobriety exercises with you, and we'll have you on your way, okay? Okay. okay. All right, come on up. No weapons on you? Yes, sir. All right, you can leave all your wallet and stuff inside the car. Just face strong and patch down, make sure. Yeah. Well, what are you getting in the pocket? So um, I'm not sure. Uh, I think just a wallet or lighter. All right. Okay. Come on over here. Do you have any medical condition with your eyes not corrected by glasses? No, sir. Are you able to walk a straight line? Yes, sir. And can you balance on one foot? Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead and bring your feet together. Yep. Hands at your sides. Yep. All right. You see this red light? Yes. You're going to follow the red light with your eyes only and keep your head still. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Alright, for this next part, I'm going to shut the light off. You're still going to follow the tip of the pen. I'm going to make some circles around your face, and then I'm going to come in real close to your nose. Just allow your eyes to cross, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
one more time. Make sure you allow your eyes to cross. All right. You see this yellow line? Yes, sir. Come on back to this side for me, and then face uh, face your car. Sure. Actually, I got the uh, tape right here. Okay, just hang out right here on my bumper real quick. Sure. Put this out. Okay, so you gotta place your left foot on that line for me. Yes, now place your right foot in front, heel touch and toe. Yes, sir. Good. Arms at your sides. Down. Uh, do you want All right, now. Alright, so left foot on the line, right foot in front, heel touch and toe, arms down to your sides. Alright, now hold that position. Don't start until I tell you. When I tell you to begin, I want you to take nine heel to toe steps just like this. One, two, three. Once you get to your ninth step, you leave that front foot where it's at. Take a series of small steps to turn around, and you take nine heel to toe steps back. Alright, it's important that once you start, you don't stop. Keep your arms at your sides and count your steps out loud. Do you have any questions? So you want me to take nine steps and then stop? Nine heel to toe steps, the turnaround I showed you. Nine heel to toe steps back, the whole time your hands are at your sides. Okay. Make sure you count out loud and once you start, don't stop. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead and begin. Mm -hmm. For this next exercise is going to be the one leg stand. So if you would, just go ahead and stand uh, stand right there and face my car. All right. So you got to bring your feet together, hands to your sides. All right, now hold that position. Don't start until I tell you. When I tell you to begin, you're going to raise one foot, either foot, approximately six inches off the ground. It's about the height of a soda can. I'm going to show you how to do it, too. While you're doing that, you're going to keep both knees straight. You're going to point the toes of your raised foot out at me. You're going to look down at your raised foot, and you're going to count out loud. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until so you tell you stop. The whole time your hands are going to be at your sides. If you place your foot down during the 30 seconds, just pick it back up and continue where you left off. Okay. It's going to go just like this. Watch me. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, mm -hmm. and so on until so you tell you stop. Notice both my knees are straight, yes, sir. my toes are pointed out, my hands are at my sides and I'm looking down on my foot. Yes, sir. That's all you got to do for 30 seconds. Okay. Do you have any questions about that? No. All right, let me set a timer here. Which foot you on, my left one? Either one that you want. Okay. Go ahead and begin. Keep going. Keep going. All right, we're going to do a different exercise. You placed your foot down three times on that one. All right, so... Um, do you know the alphabet A through Z? Yes, sir. Not backwards, nothing crazy. What's your highest level? Hands out of your pockets. What's your highest level of education? Uh, some college. Some college, okay. So go ahead and bring your feet together, hands to your sides. When I tell you to begin, you're going to recite the alphabet for me, slowly and non-rhythmically. That means don't skip any letters, don't sing it. Okay? It's going to go just like this. You're going to close your eyes and you're going to look up. Just like this, except your eyes are going to be closed. A, B, C, D. E, all the way through Z. Okay. Any questions about that? No, sir. All right, go ahead and look up, close your eyes, and begin. A, B, C, B, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W. X, Y, Z. All right, excellent. 
All right, for this final exercise, it's going to be the estimation of 30 seconds. So can you count to 30? Yes, sir. All right, so again, feet together, hands to your sides. When I tell you to begin, you're going to tilt your head back, you're going to close your eyes, and you're going to imagine the passage of 30 seconds going by silently in your mind. However you want to count, it's totally up to you as long as it's silent. Once you believe 30 seconds are up, you're going to open your eyes and say stop. Okay. Any questions about that? No. All right, give me one second. All right, go ahead and look up, close your eyes, and begin. Alright, that was about 26 seconds. At this time, you are being placed under arrest for driving under the influence. Well, remember, it's not just alcohol, man. It can be controlled substances or chemical substances. You exhibited tons of indicators of impairment, man. Alright, come on over to the front of my car here. Right here. Let's see if you can toss it together.